bourbon always was, and it, and it still is. It's a working man's drink. A generation ago, or two generations ago, bourbon wasn't something you you sat around and you took notes on, and took tasting notes and compared. There was a time in, in, in history where bourbon was very unpopular, and a lot of distilleries went under. It's scary to think, but there was a time when bourbon could have disappeared. But there was a, a group of very stubborn people in Kentucky who said, no, we're going to keep making this stuff, and we're going to keep making it the right way. What comes out of the mash still is that clear corn whiskey. People will argue differently, um, but I would say there's not much difference in that flavor between corn mash to corn mash to corn mash. The true flavor of bourbon, the true color, everything to me that distinguishes itself as bourbon comes from the cooperage. When you see those barrels being burned, you are witnessing the essence of bourbon flavor happening right there. It is the corn whiskey and the charred wood that get together, and that's bourbon. smell of the charred wood, um, it's intoxicating. What you smell is the, just that, that starting point of what bourbon is going to be. I think, you know, as, as a chef, you're constantly thinking about things that can make your food uh, unique. The big sort of evolution for me of cooking with bourbon was to look back and notice this barrel. Once that barrel has been drained, now you've got this, this barrel that has 10 years of alcohol that's been sitting in there. A lot of flavor in there, but it's also trapped in there. So what do you do with it? 